Hi everyone. So everyone's talking about Elon Musk Tesla invest at 1.5 billion on Bitcoin. Do you think it's good news or is it strong enough to push Bitcoin to $500,000? Today I'm joined with our youngest trader Tiffany to have a discussion. So let's get right in. Hi, I'm Tiffany. I've been learning about trading and investing for just over a year. Today I want to show you what I see in a technical standpoint and Bitcoin. Simple Elite Traders aim to provide simple trading and investment system so anyone can understand and hopefully benefit from the financial market. If you like what we do, we would really appreciate if you would subs if you can subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thank you. So Tiffany what is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a financial instrument like gold and the purpose of it is to store value. Mm. Do you think it's good to invest on Bitcoin, Tiffany? Yes, as it is in a very strong bullish weekly action. What do you think of Elon Musk's Tesla 1.5 billion investment on Bitcoin? It is not so much of my concern as I'm here to focus on my own investment plan. Oh, very good. So what's your plan? My plan is to wait for a pullback to the next potential weekly higher low. Wow, okay. <laughs> Seems like you know what you're doing. Who's your teacher? Can you introduce to me? It's you, Dad. All right, let me jump back into the chart. I will also show you some commitment of trader data so I can explain to you more about my plan. Thank you. It's good to have you back. In 2020, my portfolio on crypto was only 15%. I'm going to increase to 30% this year. That's a couple of main drivers for this reasoning. First, I'm very bullish on Bitcoin. I can see a lot of upside potential on it. Just the chart alone, which I will show you in a moment, is very, very bullish. Secondly, Tesla invested 1.5 billion from their balance sheet. That could lead to other company to do something similar. Therefore, another bullish reason for Bitcoin. Short term, I have sold off Bitcoin at around 40,000 in January. Reason being is I didn't get in at the bottom. I invested in December around 17,500. So I thought it's good to cash out a little bit. I have also locked in some profit on other crypto, which I've already made a video, just need some editing. I'll post it on our new playlist on our channel very soon. So if you don't want to miss out on that video, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out. Thank you. Although I'm long-term bullish on crypto and Bitcoin, I do see a short-term top forming and a pullback it will be happening in the near future. There's some powerful data which I'm going to show you in a moment. So first and foremost, I will start off with Bitcoin on a weekly time frame. Okay, I like to invest on Bitcoin for a um, a mid term to a longer term period of time, so from months into years. Daily time frame is simply too short for this purpose. Weekly is more suitable for it. The platform that I'm using is called Trading View, which I'll drop the link below. It's free of charge, so I recommend anyone to use it. From the chart, you can see Bitcoin formed a inverted head and shoulder. Once it broke off, it just went on a very bullish weekly trend. I bought in around this area in December. Let me drop that to a daily time frame, which is here. Yeah, when it made a double bottom, I took a risk around 17,500. So therefore, I took profit in January when it reached 40,000. It broke higher, but that's fine. You know, I can't time exactly when it's the top. So it will be very interesting to see 50,000, another psychological number. Will it break through or will we start to pull back? Going back to the weekly chart. I don't believe anything will go up in a straight line some point in the near future it will require a recharge 2017 
it was close to 20,000, 19,800. And now broke through. So this area, clearly, the buyer tried to break. And buyer broke through in 2020. It will draw a lot of attention to um, buyers. Potential new buyers or people like myself sold off, took profit and we enter again. So 20,000, 22,000 will be an area that I'm keeping my eyes on it. That's another element that I would like to show you, which is commitment of traders. Commitment of traders is a very, very powerful tool that will show you how commercial and speculator position themselves on the long and short contract. Current data show commercial are reducing on your, the long contract and increasing on the short contract. And speculator are taking profit out of the market, which is a very strong indication the short term top is close by and pullback may happen very soon. The data is provided by MMC. I'll drop the link below. They do provide market leading cot data, seasonal data. So I recommend you guys to go and check it out for yourself. If we are expecting short term top is close by, where would be a good technical entry point? Like Tiffany mentioned earlier, there's another instrument very similar to Bitcoin, which is gold. Hopefully from the history of gold, we can find some similarity. So let's go to gold chart. I'll use a monthly chart in this case. As you can see, the green box was the old time high made in the 80s. So 70 to the 80s went on a really bullish run. And then 80 to 2000, it went on a correction period. Okay. And then broken through in 2008, came back to retest at the old time high. Therefore, similar things may happen to Bitcoin, okay? The correction period on gold is a lot longer than Bitcoin. During this period, internet was not popular or wasn't even exist. Now we live in an information age. We hear about Bitcoin, gold, indexes, all the trading activity every day, either from YouTube, TV, social media. Therefore, I think it will draw a lot more attention to people and people getting the easier access to trade. Going back to the Bitcoin chart, if we plan the next potential higher low is around 20,000 mark, then I will drop down to daily. What I like to see is aggressive selling to show that people are taking profit, come back to around 30,000 and then some buyer come back and then seller gain control again, slowly buyer and then one final push of sale. Then I'll look to buy around the 20, 22,000 area. It's almost impossible to time where exactly it will be. So my suggestion is whatever you allocate to invest on Bitcoin, please do not buy 100% around the 20, 20,000 area. In case it drop lower, you can buy more so you can get an average portfolio. Or when it break higher, you can buy the remaining bit. As long as it's under 25K my average, I think it's a pretty good price to hold for a long period of time, okay? Part of my portfolio will be investing on altcoins. Altcoins has a lot of potential if you catch it at the right moment. But I have no intention to hold on to it for a long period of time like Bitcoin. The plan is to capitalize on short term profit. That way I can take off some of the stress creating by the short term volatility in the market and I can hold on to Bitcoin longer. Sadly, this video is coming to the end. I hope you have enjoyed it and learned something out of it. We are creating different playlists on our YouTube channel, so it's more organized. Hopefully you can learn each of the topic easier. As always, I love to hear your feedback. Are you currently a crypto trader, investor, or are you planning to invest on crypto? If you have any question, you can also follow us on Instagram. Now I have done a trading video, crypto investment video, Next video will be a stock investment video, which I'll be talking about some of the investment I made 
and the, some of the potential investment in the future. Please subscribe to us if you don't want to miss anything. So till next time, stay well, happy trading, healthy investing. Thank you.